Do you remember the old movie Bugsy Malone? Where the characters drove around in pedal-powered gangster cars? Well, of course, when I saw that as a boy, I wanted a car like that. But it was just too difficult, and there was no one around to help me. When I was growing up, our workshop was a rotten garden shed, and inside was a bucket of rusty nails and a hammer with a loose head. One day, my brother knocked down the whole shed while he was bump-starting the tractor, so then we didn't even have that. So I never built a Bugsy Malone car. But now I have a workshop of my own and even people who could help me. And I still think a pedal car would be fun. Except, of course, these days it could have a battery and motor. So it might actually go somewhere. It might actually be useful. Not for epic adventures, perhaps, but for pottering into town or to the pub, maybe. And is the big one not just for me but if we could design a really good one then others might be interested in it too lots of people might like a pedal assist electric car or is it a four-wheeled e-bike that's just one of many projects i'd like to explore now that the charcoal making process is up and running that one took a long time to set up and it's far from perfect but it is working it's not finished of course I want to improve all aspects of it as I use it, including heat collection. And I hope to show you some of those improvements as I go along. But perhaps there's also time to start a new project. Meanwhile, I want to work on the railway too. Lots of exciting developments there. And I must do lots of maintenance on our wooden house this summer and build a long dog fence too. And soon it will be time to prepare for the garlic harvest. And the bees are getting very busy here now. Hmm. But still, I thought I could at least think about a bicycle car project at the same time. Maybe I could fit in some experiments and build some models. And maybe you lot would be kind enough to give me advice and make suggestions. And my friends Will and Ashley are joining in too, which is great because they're very clever chaps. But I'm not sure we'll agree on very much. <laughs> so I might have to resort to splurge guns to get them heading in the right direction. And of course, they're busy with their own stuff too. So we'll see. Anyway, my cunning plan is simply to design and build a four-wheeled pedal car and add a motor somehow. It would have a roof of some sort to keep out the rain, but a minimal one because of wind resistance and weight. Now... How hard can it be? I know there are fancy space age versions out there already, but ours would have to be built with tools and materials at hand. So I was thinking thin plywood sealed up with epoxy resin like a boat for the chassis and perhaps a canvas superstructure like an early aeroplane or some kind of monocoque construction to keep the weight down. The motor, battery and controller would be modern off-the-shelf stuff, so it would be an interesting combination of old and new materials. Now, there's no point making it if it doesn't look like a car, and a particular sort of car, as far as I'm concerned. So it needs four wheels and brakes and lights and a motor, but that's about as far as I've got. And I know that a three-wheeler would be much easier, but it's just not the same, is it? It has to, it has to have four wheels, otherwise it's not a proper car. I feel like I'm building it for that frustrated youngster that I once was and wish I could have built one for my own children when they were younger. Perhaps it's not too late for my youngest. Anyway, that's the plan. And right away, I can see that the challenges will include these things. Wheels, axles, steering, suspension, transmission, which would include the gears and the motor and the controller. Then there's the differential, the brakes, the layout and weight distribution, lights and speed display, all set in some sort of lightweight but strong wooden chassis. And that's before we get to the body of the thing and, and windows and doors and the seat and the way the whole thing looks. So every one of those components needs a lot of thinking about and experimentation. Lots of interesting challenges. 
but it's not a space rocket. It's more or less a couple of bicycles and a motor. So it should be possible, surely. Anyway, don't be surprised if a few videos on the subject pop up from time to time, amongst the normal ones, of course. And if you have any thoughts at this stage, let's be having them.